Say go everybody, I'm back again to make our uh, monthly update as of today, July 13th, Friday the 13th. We're hearing a lot of motorcycles motoring through our community as people are headed to Fort Port Dover for the usual Friday the 13th activities. So we'll start off this one with Public Works as we always do and uh, a lot of the information I presented in previous updates is, is still there. Work is still ongoing but I just want to provide a little bit of updates. Uh, work is continuing on extending the water main to the I.L. Thomas and Oliver M. Smith Elementary Schools. And this project was awarded to A6N, which is our own company in partnership with ACON, and it is employing about 75 people from our community. This project will be completed in November of 2018. And during this time, the community can expect to see rolling lane closures and temporary laneway interruptions throughout the project area. Seneca Road between 3rd and 4th line uh, is closed uh, during the day uh, for, for local, and it's only open for local traffic. This was starting on Monday, July 9th and it will only be accessible to the local residents living within this area. It is expected that this will only last until the uh, end of next week, which is July 20th. This is necessary to ensure that we can get the work done and connect the schools during the summer break and not have to interrupt educational time once the schools reopen. Extension routes or detours are posted on www.sixnations.ca and you can also follow Six Nations Council on Facebook and Twitter for updates. And I just want to thank the community for their uh, their patience and their cooperation as this work is being done as we are undertaking this work to provide potable and clean water to the schools and to community members along the route. Now if you want to hook up to the water, uh, the process would be that um, Six Nations Public Works Office and A6N are going to work collaboratively for the residential hookups. And so the process would be as follows. The customers would pay their deposits at the Six Nations Public Work Office and complete a water sewer hookup application. The deposit is $50 for a property owner or $150 for a renter. This deposit will cover the water main connection, inspection and the meter. The customer information is then provided to A6N who will coordinate access to the property and home with the homeowner and will supply a quote for connection. The quotes will vary depending on the distance of the home from the road and whether a road crossing is needed. Once the quote is done, the customer will pay the quote in full to the Six Nations Public Works Office and A6N will coordinate and complete the work. We are also excited to announce that we have been granted $1.2 million from the Six Nations Economic Development Trust Fund to complete a water main extension east on 4th Line from the Cuga Road toward the United Business Park. The Six Nations Community Development Trust, which is our other one, has provided the remaining funding to complete our Phase 1 water main expansion by the end of 2018. Please be advised that community members will have to pay for their connection to this water main as well after it is installed and they will have to wait until the water main is commissioned and active until connection is complete, which may not be until November. I had reported earlier that we had submitted a letter to the Confederacy Chiefs to see if we could make application for funding to assist with this water main expansion. However, as of this date, we have not received an official response. The construction of the housing units across from the Village Cafe began at the start of May and are scheduled to be completed by November 2018. Lanka Construction has been awarded this project and will be reaching out to Great for local labor as the project progresses. So if you're interested, please get your resume into Great as soon as possible uh, through Todd Montour. And also due to ongoing concerns from the community, we have started an assessment of the intersection of Highway 54 and Chiefswood Road in conjunction with Brant County. So we may be able to add extra lanes there. Uh, finally, under Public Works, the Six Nations landfill site is on summer hours, which means that it will be open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. with the gates closing at 5.15. And please help protect Mother Earth and remember to recycle. Our next household hazardous waste event is scheduled for November 3rd at the landfill site and for more information on how to safely store this waste, uh, in the meantime, please visit www.sixnations.ca.